Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is how to work with screen scaling. Over the last three major updates of Windows, so the anniversary update, the creators update, and then the recent fall creators update, the Windows team have been working to improve the way older applications scale between screens. They've also updated some of their own applications, for example, the long retired Internet Explorer, which still lives on very strongly in the corporate world, has now been updated to adjust to screen scaling properly. Other applications like Skype for Business, Word and PowerPoint have also been improved in the way they scale between different screens. So this brings me to my first tip for dealing with screen scaling, and that's to make sure that you've got the latest version of Windows 10 on your device. Open up the Settings app, go to Updates and Security, and click on Windows Updates. and Check if there's any updates available. My second tip is to do with undocking and redocking. When you've undocked your computer or disconnected your screen, you might see that the applications on your screen resize and they go too small or too big. In that case, you can just sign out and sign back in again to correct that problem. What will happen then is that Windows will rescale those applications to suit the screen that you're working with now. You'll need to do the same thing when you go back to your desk and redock. The same thing can also be accomplished by rebooting your computer. So my third tip to deal with screen scaling is to change your main display. Changing your main display can affect the way text appears on the screen. So if you're seeing fuzzy text, on your larger external screen, you might want to set that screen to be your main screen so that text renders nice and sharp on that screen. You may find that when you move applications across to your Surface screen then, that they could appear fuzzy on that screen. To change your main display, you need to go into the display settings. The easiest way to get there is to right click on your desktop and go to display settings. Click on the monitor, that's your external monitor, now note that when we're looking at these two monitors here, the larger monitor may appear smaller because it has a lower resolution. Click on that monitor and go down until you see make this my main display and tick that box. The other thing that you could do here to eliminate screen scaling issues is actually turn off your high resolution surface display when you're docked. So while we're in this display settings window, you could click on your surface screen and I could go down and change this setting here that says disconnect this display. By disconnecting this display, I'm only using my older lower resolution screen and therefore Windows doesn't have to scale things when we move back and forth across the screen. You might find in that case that you get sharper, clearer text in some of those older applications. So my fourth tip, and unfortunately this is not the most practical tip for everybody out there, but my fourth tip is to replace your low resolution 1080p screens with 4K screens, much higher resolution. So with my 24 inch 4K screens that I have on the desk here behind me, I have a pixel density that's roughly the same as what's on my Surface screen. So Windows has to do a lot less work to move an application from my Surface screen onto one of these external displays, so there's not a lot of scaling going on. I can't completely eliminate the issues with screen scaling, but mostly I don't have those issues that are related to moving apps between screens, fuzzy text, undocking and redocking. So that is a little bit of a complicated answer to a very complicated problem, but I hope that this video has helped you to alleviate some of the issues that are associated with working with modern high resolution Windows 10 devices like the Surface Pro. If you have any other tips or comments or tricks, that you use to deal with screen scaling issues on your surface, please leave them in the comments below. And remember to give us the thumbs up if you liked this video and found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips.